Hey, what's up everybody? So today we're going to be talking about Yuki, the much requested dashing gentleman character that y'all really seem to want. Like really, since like the first episode I've been asking uh, who exactly people want to see and Yuki seems to be the most requested character by far. And well, the reason I took so long to talk about him is because it's, it's quite simple. He's awkward. When I make these videos, I kind of want to have a clear and concise way of being able to describe the character and showcase a build that I believe is the best variant of that character right now. But, Yuki really doesn't have that either of those, really. And that's where the issue lies. And it's a shame, because he's really a cool character. Like, super, super interesting character. I love his entire kit, his design. Like I, I think he's super neat. But, there's a caveat, he's just... He's fine. He's just not there. I don't know how to, I don't know how to describe it. Like, it's not all there. So we get this issue of, you can see where I have a lot of these builds. Well, I'm going to this first one. <laughs> we have a lot of these builds, and we just keep trying things to see exactly how they would pan out. And I'll give you the two that I've had the most success with. Um, this does not mean they are the best. That does not mean, you, you know, these are like the go-to. You need to play these. No, there are plenty of interesting, good builds. Um, I just think Yuki is a kind of weird place where we're still trying to figure out exactly what is the most optimal thing to do with him in terms of at least solo play. So with that being said, I'm going to first talk about the first one. This is comes from a player uh, called TT Sama. He is kind of just known as the, as the best Yuki one trick. He spams Yuki incredibly deadly every time I run into him. And for some reason, he gets this build to work every time I see him. But, after playing this build for a couple hours, I realize there is a couple glaring issues. Um, the main issue being here in Avenue. Avenue is where we finish our weapon, but it's also an area where we can only find... Uh, where items where we find here do not dip into other areas. And what I mean here is, we can't find Glass Bottle in any other route here, in anything else, right? We can't find the tights anywhere else we can't find slippers anywhere else we can't find battery anywhere else and going to avenue dirt a super contested spot as is is really really hard like really hard to justify going there and so i don't know how he gets this to work so consistently but i know nearly every game i ran into avenue i wasn't able to get everything i needed and i was always having to like go somewhere else to finish up uh, getting exactly what i needed which usually is okay but you need these to just you're just holding on to parts and you're going to essentially like route seven to finish everything and that becomes kind of an issue so take this build of a grain of salt take all these builds of a grain of salt right now because honestly there really is no meta build for yuki but i do think this will give you a good uh foundation to play off of so you can you can make your own builds tries the main takeaways i will say from these builds is dragon dobok is surprisingly incredibly strong it has everything Yuki needs. Yuki has really bad SP problems. Very, very bad. You want to be using your dash as much as possible to get around the map as fast as possible. And in pair with your W, reducing your dash's cooldown, you're going to be dashing a lot. And it costs a lot of SP regen. Cooldown reduction on Yuki is great. Attack power is great. Defense great. SP regen is great. And the attack range is really nice uh, coming from your Q. So, like, this works really well. And I do believe that his best weapon is Hovid. Hovid is an incredibly strong weapon. It's a three router, but it gives a lot of stats on it. And it honestly, I just think it's the best weapon he has right now. But uh, in terms of the other stuff we have, it's just really, you know, attack speed, crits, very basic package we have going on here. And then the other build I want to talk about is this one. Cannot pronounce this. Mono Shaz. Mono Hoshizaru. Yeah, this weapon is like the attack power lifesteal build. Okay, I'll be real. This build didn't feel that bad, but it did not feel amazing. Because this weapon is a limit, is at earliest a 4 router. This one's more of a 4 fun build, I feel. I do not think it is going to be an amazing build. I do not think it is a good build. But I played it, I had some success with it. And it didn't feel too bad, but it was eh, kind of lacking at times. Like, uh... <laughs> While I was streaming over at twitch.tv forward slash top sorcerer, which you should be following if you aren't already, you know, just saying, we will stream there quite a bit, be streaming again Monday, you know, hope to see you there. Um, I had a, I had a person come in and meet me because we actually don't have, we don't have any health in this build, so what are we life stealing? And you know what, they kind of have a point, I didn't realize that, yeah, we don't have any health, what are we life stealing? We're just kind of 
what is this nonsense? But it's fun. I personally would recommend the TT Sama build over this one. But, you know, do as you wish. In terms of abilities, let's go over Yuki's abilities really quick. So, for those who don't know, his Q is an auto attack reset that will consume a cufflink and stun. Oh, and I probably should explain that. My bad. Cufflinks. So, Yuki stores cufflinks as a resource. You're going to see them when you're in game, you're going to be under your health, and you're going to store up to four of them. When you auto attack, they will... Uh, consume one and you will your auto attack will con deal bonus true damage you'll see it as it ticks down as you start auto attacking your q is an auto attack so it will consume another cufflink so generally you want to keep as much you want to keep your cufflink uptime as much as possible to maximize your dps using your button up skill your w will uh restore all your cufflinks so that's really important it will also uh, give you some defense while activated, which personally, I've never ever noticed. And will reduce the cooldown of Dashing Gentleman. And lastly, your button-up has a cool uh, passive when you get hit. Uh, uh, the cooldown of button-up itself will go down. And then Dashing Gentleman, it is a dash, but if you hit someone, you actually end up behind them. And you will disable their auto attacks for a short period of time. And then your ulti, which is the reason we all want to place, and the reason why Yuki is a... Very highly sought after pick in team modes, mostly squads, is Coup de Gas. It is amazing. It is a giant AoE ulti that has two parts to it. The first one being an AoE slow, uh, plus the damage, and then the pop. The, the damage goes off again, dealing a percentage of the enemy's max HP, and it hurts quite a bit. So hitting two or three enemies with this really, really, really hurts. And lastly, we have the weapon skill. And Yuki only has one weapon, which is a two-handed sword, and it is the parry. It is a reactive ability. So you can use this where you take a defensive position and you protect yourself from any attack that your opponent's going to throw at you within that time. And then you do a short lunge and deal damage to all enemies within your path. It is a, actually a really good skill, but it's reactive and you do have to anticipate what your opponent is going to be doing. After playing a few games with him, you'll get it down pretty fast, so how you should be using this. And when it goes off, it's pretty hype. I'm gonna keep it honest with you. You could do this on some ultimates and it just feels bad. Like, you could parry an Aya ultimate at the end of his cast time and it just feels terrible for it. I mean, you just killed him. But the uh, main leveling order, there's a couple ways you go about it. The one I was doing most of the day today and the one that uh, people better than myself have been trying out and seem to really prefer is the E max into W max into uh, Q, ulti whenever, and then passive last. Now, you can mix this up quite a bit. There's a quite a few variations you could do here. You could do uh, E max into Q max. You could do Q max into E max. You could do QW. There's a lot of ways to do things. Now, the reason, but for the sake of simplicity, the way um, I would recommend for now as starting out, I would definitely recommend the E max. E max into W max gives you a lot of survivability in early game because Yuki gets essentially two dashes for free. You just need to make sure you have SP drinks to regen all, well, all your SP that you're going to be consuming while spamming these two buttons a lot. So it's very important that you have SP drinks on this character. You usually don't want too many on most characters because it clocks up inventory space, but Yuki is an exception and desperately needs them or he will run out of SP very, very fast. So yeah, highly, highly, highly recommend. Crafting SP tricks and maxing out your E first. You can do Q if you want to be more aggressive. If you have like more of an early game build, I think Q is just fine. But uh, there's a lot of situations where you get run into people that are stronger than you in your early game, and you're just you're gonna need the mobility to get out, or you're gonna die. And that's kind of just a sad reality with Yuki at the moment. Now, my overall thoughts on Yuki after playing for him like almost five hours on stream today i've played a lot of him in the past already is it really hasn't changed so much he's really awkward like when he works he feels fantastic but when he doesn't work it feels so bad like so bad there's really not much you can do when he doesn't get online like unlike characters like jackie where even if they feel like they're not online they still have the mobility to get away from things they still are able to have like that agency to determine like exactly how they're gonna get back into the game yuki kind of doesn't have that agency and even when he does it doesn't feel like you're doing anything better than a lot of the cast like a lot of the better characters and that's kind of why it was like so awkward to make this video because 
yes, I love this character. He's one of my favorite characters in the game. But he just doesn't feel amazing. He doesn't feel bad, but he doesn't feel good. And I, I, like no matter what I tried today, I could not find a build that genuinely made him feel good and impactful and like making me want to play more of him because it was like those situations where things felt really bad they felt really really bad i do think yugi's in need of some loving right now he does need a little bit of buffs or maybe just like two-handed weapons in general need some buffs i'm not really sure but overall he's in terms of fun he's super fun if you just want to play him and you're like why are you ranting about this you're you're being an idiot i'm like well I'm per you're right i am being an idiot go play yuki he's awesome He's, he's great fun. In solos, he's awkward. In team mode, he feels a lot better if you're coordinating with your partner. So, you know what? I, I highly recommend them. He's a great time. His design's great. His kit's fun. Super unique. I think he's great. Even if he doesn't fit the metagame right now. But yeah, that's going to be all for me today. If you do enjoy the video, uh, please leave a like down below. Leave a comment down below on who you want to see next. Uh, the next one is going to be uh, uh, worked on pretty soon. And if you want to know exactly who I'm working on and who's going to be showing up on YouTube, you could always follow me over at twitch.tv forward slash Tom Sorcerer. Just like with the Yuki one today, I streamed all the games live. And one of the 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 game you're going to be seeing now is going to be recording from that stream. Uh, kind of just showcasing the basic premise of Yuki and how I went about padding, food, uh, my general like mindset of exactly how I was going about fights. And, you know, just so you could understand how Yuki is operating. Now, do be warned, the build I am running in that one is a different build, but the principles to Yuki still do apply. But yeah, that's going to be all for me today. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I will see you all next time. And honestly, you can play whoever you want to climb. Climbing in Souls isn't really hard if you play properly, and not like take dumb fights like I've been doing. Certain characters are going to have a lot easier time than others. Do I think Heart's strong? Incredibly. I think hearts are very underrated. Probably not the best in the game, but... N not, no, she's not. But she's just fine. She can... She can win. She just has a little trouble from the circle. She can hold her own just fine. She can hold her own and do more. See already zone too? Yeah, yeah, this is going pretty fast. Granted, you know, we got all four days We got the best best spawn possible. Yeah, probably next I'll be Jackie. Meme team? I mean, you joke, but um... Rafe Kira was having a lot of success with uh, two-handed Jackie. I'm on blue. I'll mess you up. I don't think he's got any of those, I'm trying to hit him. Look at Rumi. I mean, it's fine. I'm farming mastery off him. I literally have to go here anyways. Cool. Please let me know if you find Dude, I need so. Do you guys really play this life bank? Uh, ooh. well, if I find more than one, I'll let you know. I need SP. Okay, he's respecting it. Wait, you need to get out of here. You're gonna take all my stuff. Dude. If I have to. <laughs> uh, do I just... I don't even need that much anymore. I need... Batteries... Honestly, I, I don't even care. Bottle. If I don't get it, I don't get it. I'm just gonna head out. It's not, it doesn't involve my weapon. What? Nice. So that's my third... Oh, let's really go temple third. Whoops, my bad. Now nah, that explains the awkward inventory space. Yeah, the game is super addicting. 
그래도 좀 발전한 것 같습니다. Can I play someone I need? Yeah, the box online. 망가지면 정말 아까울 것 같아. Now we get the paper. Since we came here pretty late, it might be a little hard to find. Bad leather? Bad leather? Unfortunate. I'm going to try max first and second on heart. Q and E, no matter what the build is. If you're talking about using your evolution points, it depends on the build. Dude, W? Oh, dude, my bad. It's such a habit. Yes, yes, okay. We will switch to W. We're not getting another paper, huh? This one. Shallow passive every time you can. Um, it's really up to you. You can. Passive only was good. It's free SP regen auto attacks. Cool. So you're missing glass bottles, leather, shoes, piano wire. You want to drop leather? Yeah. If you find shoes there, pick, one, pick some up for me. I need Just glass. Shoes. Just regular shoes, yeah. I'm gonna go chapel. I need piano wire as well. So this is kind of what I mean by like um like slightly adapting. I couldn't find exactly what I needed in the areas I had to go to, so like I'm going to the areas that I can find the most amount of things possible. And I'm also making like foods that I can, like blue foods, like choco boxes. That's why I made the choco pies early on. So we got the leather. So the people you're watching, are they putting uh, points into Yuki's passive? I'm probably imagine not. It's not very good. Wait. Hi. I have your shoes whenever you uh, catch up with me. Um... Wait, you guys on a white weapon. You're on a green weapon. Why am I respecting you? Oh, I need to die, Zazukai. Why are there so many Zukais? Working on it. No, no, please. Oh my god, you're actually still up. Okay. Wait, you kind of just popped off a little bit there, not gonna lie. The fat man will accept his death, though. Uh, oh, I don't know my ult yet. I was, gonna, I was trying to space for it. Dude, what are you? Okay. Hey, that was high as fuck. What the shit? That was anime as hell. I'll take it. I'll take trade jackets, whatever. I don't need this. Wait, you get trap mastery for walking into a trap. I've already told you Trap Master is broken. 
You get trap mastery for walking onto a trap? Territory trap mastery is broken. Look at me. <laughs> you made my dip sword? Jesus Christ. Okay, I need stone. I need a uh, piano wire. I get you. What are you remembering that name? I like I played him. I like I played that name a lot. Oh, these are boosted, right? I don't need his battery. So, all we're missing now is what? The shoes? You have the shoes, right? I have the shoes. I can come to you or you can come to me. I'll go to you. I just need to get rock here. That's some rock out crystal tiara. Oh, it's pretty much done with this area. I have absolutely nothing that I'm getting. I'm just farming. Shoes, please. Okay. Cool. Let's get the pop off. Now we have... Ah, oh, Nick, you're playing the bad character, dude. Uh, I hope this, you know, doesn't hurt our friendship. I'm gonna go beach. Get some, uh... What's it called? The fish gullets. Are you the one too? Okay, I was ready. <laughs> Anyone that happens, I'm ready, man. Alright, we're doing W max just here. I just love Dobuck on this character. Dragon Dobuck feels so good. And wakes up, we should have to afterwards. I'm pretty good on food. Yo, these nuts on him too? Really? Oh, that's a take. That, that's not something I was expecting at all. You think EOD is good on Yuki Nook? EOD? Yeah. I don't know. Dobak is kind of nuts. Yeah, it's really good. Like any variant that's not Dobok, so I'm like, this feels way stronger. This CDR makes him mobile. Well, we already have CDR on Dobok. And then we get attack range too. And SP, we. we br this covers all of Yuki's weaknesses. He's an alley. Dobok is best still? Okay, okay. Now I make sure, I was like, I feel like. I feel like, you know. This feels really good every time I have it. Ah oh, man, I gotta remember to add one of those like water bots to the channel. <laughs> He's in archery range? Jesus Christ. Remember to stay hydrated, folks. Very important. Smile. Oh, hi. And Mithril? Heard you. Uh, do we still have any mouse trap area open? Oh, dude, all the mouse trap areas are gone. Oh, no, Beach is still open. I'm creeping. Nail areas are so. No, we got archery. Okay, cool, cool. cool. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, I always forget that. There's nails in archery range. Oh, it's okay. Are they gonna walk in here? And Fiora? Oh, they're walking in here. 
<laughs> I don't feel like it. X Cosmic Ego. Appreciate the follow, man. This guy has SP. I like SP. Oh, this guy has traps. I like traps. What did the loop pinata have? Steaks, of course. Steaks and fried chicken. Why is it always steaks? Oh. Hey, they're fighting. We have wick. I'm down to just keep fighting. Yeah. Hey, still got food. Did they run away from the wolf? I'm sorry, what? Explain yourself? Okay, whatever. So much fire breath damage. Did it do a lot of damage? I don't even know. I mean, normally, yeah, it's really strong. Okay, I'm gonna go back to archery range look for the... Oh, uh, the nail. Do these people have anything? Nah. When you nail a mouse trap, get remote mines up. So, I don't know if I've noticed the W Max. Kind of hard. We kind of got to the point in the game where Yuki's supposed to be good. We'll, we'll give it a few more shots. Thousand not feeling bad. I found a nail. I haven't been looking. <laughs> Why you like this? And it's still QMAX W second. Wait. You're doing QW? Nah, there's no way. I, I don't like the QMAX anymore. <laughs> I think it's EW. If you're doing W second, just do EMAX. You always have E up then. I think EMAX lets you like run away early on. Okay, we got the... Now, uh, Beach is closing off. We have to hurry there. We need to get a mouse trust in there. I'm just saying what they did. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I don't think that's optimal though. I like... I, I, grew, I laughed about the Emax, so I'm like, I, the more I play, I'm like, this feels really good. Uh, I'm gonna just go beach, Nick, and then... Yeah, I'm going beach. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna literally walk right out, because we can't stay here long. Like, I got the bow strap. Right. Are you coming back up to me? I'm going to, I'm just crafting it right now. So, because we might run into them. The other people I hooked on, oh, I've run into them. <clears throat> One of them was Jackie, and the others, me. <laughs> I mean, they don't want to respect the tether. Okay. You you saw me. Put the remote mine down, and you jumped into it. What did you think was going to happen? Some people are just dumb. Jumping into a free 500 damage is probably not the best way to start an engagement.